Welcome to Code Review Hacker channel. In last video, we learned how to install VS Code and VS Code extension installation such as Python and Code Runner. In this video, we are going to learn how to run HTML with Live Server. For that, I have downloaded an HTML template from this site and extracted in this folder. Let's see the traditional approach first. The traditional approach is like locating the file in your folder then you will right click if you have a chrome then it will show here open with chrome i just have firefox installed in my system so it is showing firefox then you will click open with firefox then it will load page for you here you can see that home here it's been lowercase that i want to convert into uppercase for that i will go into vs code then I will uh, right locate the element. You can use Ctrl F to locate it, and I will change here. To see the updated changes, you have to refresh the page. Then only the changes will get reflected. If uh, you are doing a uh, small changes, then you can do. If you are making a uh, very big changes, then on each time you have to refresh your page this would be a time consuming task to avoid that time consumption vs code is providing you an extension called live server this is the extension if you have downloaded this extension then you can run your file from directly vs code by right just right click to this file where you can see open with live server click that then it will redirect you to the browser and it will load the page the difference between the normal approach and this approach is that uh, vs code live server provides you a way that Whenever you make any changes to your code, that will automatically get reflected in your browser. Let's see an example for it. Let me resize my window so that it would be easier to explain. Let me close the sidebar. I hope now code would be easier to view now here i am changing about us to uppercase about us now i am saving the file like as soon as i save the file it will automatically reload page for you this will be really helpful for you if you are a front end developer Please install this extension in your local and start using it. You will feel the difference. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to the channel.